Welcome back. My name is Nicole B.W. and this is Gollum Factory. I was just sitting at my desk, excuse me, doing some paperwork. <laughs> so I have gotten, oh, we've been putting you guys to work, haven't we? Yep, we sure have. So these guys are doing a great job. I moved the chest so each golem is responsible for certain kinds of, of metals. You got copper and tin, we got shiny and lead, and this guy is ferrous and iron. So the guys over here put in this one, and I have it also for that and that, but I've tested they won't put their the ingots in there once this one fills up they won't put it in there um so i don't know if maybe if i put it on the ground they probably will and not put it floating like this um but i don't know right now it works fine so we have iron going in there we have some iron up there and we have this almost full of ferrous ingots um this one has lead and i had them uh cooking up some iron because there was a lot of iron so all of this needs to go over there um nothing in that one and this one i have my alloys in and my shiny and i have a lot of shiny ingots that is because if you take the the um not just the the ferrous in a pulverizer will give you the shiny pulverized shiny but if you take ferrous ore and cinnabar in an induction smelter you get a hundred percent for the shiny ingots so i did get some of that cinnabar from pulverizing redstone so i bought a bunch of redstone and ended up getting a bunch of the cinnabar so I used the cinnabar in the induction smelter with the ferrous ore and got a bunch of the shiny because we have a uh, special request for, ooh, shiny. Uh, we need 30 shiny ingots for that. So let's go ahead and do that. We need 30, not 37. So we can go ahead and turn that in and get our reward from that which unlocks more shiny. So we need two shiny blocks. We, so we only need 18 shiny and we have quite a bit, right? So it uh, was pretty good that we got all of those. So I highly recommend that. Let's make our blocks and we will turn that in as well. Okay, so this one is not a repeatable quest it is completed this one is a repeatable quest so we can keep turning that in and getting rewards for it so let's see what we got for those two and we've got a rewards bag so we got improved strength we got two of those and a receipt for them so i have been putting these up here we have two more straw golems and we've gotten a bunch of upgrades for them in the reward bags for just the, the extra little things that we've been turning in for the shipments. Like these things that give us extras that you've seen me do a million times before. Or before. Holy cow. Okay, so that's a lot. That's a lot of, wow. I forgot that it, it came with all of that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got a lot of money with that. What is this one? A lot of money has been made. Now, I have been collecting money. This is full. This is almost full. And now this is full. That is is a lot of money we will be able to do a lot of stuff with that yes we will let's put this over here with this 
Oh my goodness. Okay, that makes this even better. So what we're gonna do is we are going to work on getting the batteries quest done. Now, if, it's, if you see, it's got these green bars, which means they are full of energy. So what we have to do is to buy a factory upgrade. And the one that we need is the charging upgrade. So that's gonna take 300 which is not too bad now that we've got, let's just grab all of this because we will be buying a lot of stuff. Okay, so we need to buy that. So let's claim that reward. What is the second one? 750? Uh, let's not do that right now. Okay, so we have that. And I think we have everything that we need for uh, the, the flux capacitors. We need 30, yeah, we need 20, 40, 60. We need 60 sulfur. Do we have sulfur somewhere? Um, maybe, maybe not. Oh, yeah. So you're not really supposed to do this. Don't put a chest <laughs> with a thing. You're supposed to automate it with golems, but I have not been doing that. I've been using the chest, but I'm working on the the coal. If you pulverize coal, or you get coal. If you pulverize the coal, you get pulverized coal, and a chance of getting sulfur. So we need 60 of the sulfur to do this quest, and I forgot about that, and we don't have 60 sulfur to do the quest. So let's do these other quests. <laughs> We can do the energy cells. So we need 20 of those. Let's put these away because we don't need them right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need lead and glass. We need 80 glass. Do we have 80 glass? We have exactly 80 glass. And we need lead, and we need 80 of these, I believe. There's 20. Well, that kind of worked out really well. Um, and I think we need 20 of these, if I'm not mistaken. And we need lead. And iron. We can move that over. And let's see. And we need redstone. Oh, we're gonna need copper too. So we need twenty. Actually, we're gonna need more than that. Okay, so we need twenty of these. And this would go like that. And let's make 20 leadstone energy cell frames. Then we are going to need 40 We need 20 of these. So we're done with that. Is it the M bar? Yeah, I think so. And then we need 40, 60 copper. Where's the copper? Ah, dang it. I threw it. I didn't mean to throw it. Okay. I think we have what we need. Yeah, so we can put this in here. I already have the, I went ahead and bought schematics and so I went ahead and wrote this schematic on there so I meant to write that on the other schematic how to make these and I forgot. So all I have to do is shift click and now I have 20 of these. I need to select, it's already selected, right click, it's the energy cells so we'll just submit these.
And there we go. And we can claim the reward for that. This one, I feel like we don't get enough money back from it for what we spend for the actual supplies. And I'll have to figure out the actual, like, what we pay to get, like, versus what we get back on that. There's a lot of these. My goodness. And there's a lot of strong boxes that we get. Okay, let's make some armor real quick. Let's check on the coal, actually. Is it done? It's done. We did not get that much. We only got two out of that stack. I don't know. One, two, three. Because you only need three stacks for the for the armor. Let's go ahead and submit that so we have room for the others. Okay. So like that. There we go. We grab our money that we're getting a lot of. Oh my goodness, my stomach is just growling. <clears throat> well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> and we got a strong box with rotten flesh, zombie brain, spider eyes, and bones. Not exactly the thing that I wanted. You know, because, I don't know, it's not a great reward. <laughs> okay, so we have to make a decision. We do have all of that money. Uh, what we can do is go ahead and, oh, I wish there was a better way to get sulfur without spending a ton of money. Um... Okay, so sulfur, right? How we can do this, it comes from nether quartz ore in the pulverizer, but there's a 10% chance, a 10% chance from the nether rack, um, a 10% chance from coal, which is what we're using now, and a 50% chance from blaze rods, which isn't too bad. Um, so if we get a stack, we'll get a about a half a stack of sulfur, which is still not enough because we need 60 sulfur, not 30. So we'd have to get two stacks of blaze rods. Um, and then putting soul sand and netherrack for netherrack together is a 25% chance. So that's pretty much where we're at. There is a, in the shop, we can go to the overworldly imports. We get a stack of blaze rods, which remember will give us about a half a stack of sulfur, which is still not enough. So we'd have to buy this twice just for the blaze rods. Um, there's a stack of soul sand and a stack of nether quartz ore, but I think we also get two stacks of netherrack so if we pulverize everything then maybe we can get enough um, but it's 400 quicksilver that means if we use that we would have to not only get 400 back but we would also need to get back from payment uh, the rest of the stuff, the stuff for the copper and the lead and all the redstone, which redstone is not cheap in the shop. 
the the redstone is 80 per thing and then the uh, copper is another 50 so you're looking at another 130 at least so um i don't and we need diamonds but we already have diamonds but that would be another 150 so you're looking at 280 plus 400 so that's 680 the we're spending on and I don't think we're going to get 680 back from the battery, like from the challenge. So I think we just keep doing the coal until we get enough because it would be cheaper to do it that way. Now we could do the math for the robust cogs. So we need um, iron and invar, which is pretty cheap, or to make invar, which is pretty cheap. You can get ferrous from the iron by pulverizing it. So we could make it for 10, <clears throat> maybe two or three things of iron would get us enough to make the Invar gears. So that's like what, 30 Quicksilver. But the Tinker's Alloy gears, you need 80 of the Tinker's Alloy. And to get that, you need three copper plus one tin equals what, four of the Alloy gears. So we need 60 copper so you're talking 80 so you're talking about a hundred or so yeah i guess plus the iron that goes in the middle for the gears so you're talking a little more than a hundred and i think you get 20 or 40 80 you get a little bit more than that back so you get about 50 Quicksilver more than what you paid into it. This one is actually the best deal um, for what you get, for what you actually spend. You spend 40. Well, not even that anymore. It's like 20. <laughs> you spend 20 and you get like, I don't know, like 250, 260. <laughs> So, yeah, it's definitely worth it for that. Oh, gosh. So, let's see. We have all this money. What should we spend it on? Do we need more pulverizers? Do we need more furnaces? Um, the furnaces wouldn't be too bad to get because this does get backed up. They run kind of slow. And... Um, if we had more, it wouldn't be too bad. So let's look at our factory upgrades. Let's see, the, that's pulverizer. The furnace is 800. Um, let's see, we get two furnaces for 800. So it's 400 per furnace. We could get two more, um, which wouldn't be too bad. I don't know of a reason to pulverize silver and gold, but we could definitely use those other two to help with all the iron that we're smelting. We don't need an extra one for this yet. Um, we don't need another one of those yet. I don't <clears throat> know of anything else. Um, the pulverizers seem to do pretty good because you only need one stack and it makes two stack of the dust so um, those definitely get backed up. So let's go ahead and get some more furnaces. Let's grab all of this because I don't feel like doing the math. Uh, let's see, the furnace upgrade. So there we go. What's the last one? It's 2,000. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Well, we got a little bit of that back and we now have two more furnaces that are completely like far away from the boxes that's okay um <clears throat> yeah and we have golems already we would just need some cores for them so we need four golems and we have oops 
we have three so we will need you know what let's not use this guy and only use him for uh important things over there so we need two more golems let's go ahead and just buy the straw because they do fine it's good enough my stomach keeps growling i'm so sorry if you can hear that um okay so we have four golems we need two fill and two empty i think we need more money for that i'm not sure how much all right two fill is that what we want fill we don't need gather or use which are chopping fluid and alchemy now. Yeah. Okay, so two fill and two empty. Awesome. And let's put these away. Let's move those. All right, then we can add these to our furnaces and help there you go and they will help us out and these are empty these are fill and we will get them figured out here in a second with the dust. And yeah, um, let me get enough sulfur so we can get the flux capacitors going. And I will be right back. Okay, we don't have all of the sulfur yet that we need. It's still running, um, but I have made a decision. We have all of this Quicksilver sitting there doing nothing. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and I think hmm, chemistry lab or the farmland. Um, I kind of need to get the farmland going if we're going to do that. Um, but the chemistry lab is pretty good as well. Um, and I can have them working, golems working over there. Uh, you know what? Let's do the chemistry lab. It's 1500. I just filled up my inventory with Quicksilver. Okay, we did it. We have it now. And that is now open. Wow, that took almost. <laughs> That's still full, but this is empty. Almost. So let's go over there and take a look at it. Wow, that just, that was a lot. <laughs> oh, Quicksilver. So we have this set up over here. There's this thing here. Uh, this thing here, I'm not sure what that does. This thing. I know what this does. I worked with that in agrarians, guys. I've not worked with those two things. So, yeah, this is going to be in a deconstruction table. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So, if I go over here, you can see there's gates. The, uh, the gate things that are on top of the machines are also here. But uh, we can put golems in here to work for us, which is something that I think will be interesting. So, since we did that, let's see, there are shipments available. There are not shipments available. I think we have to do the those quests first, this one and this one. I think we have to do first before we can unlock the quests for that. So we still need, do we have specials? No. So we still need to do this battery quest. Okay. So let's see how much do we have. We have 39. 
you know, one more and we'll go ahead and make um, some. Hurry up. Make one more. Make one more. Please. Please. Any day now. Any day now. So, oh. I wish I could get this automated with like item docks and hoppers and chests and stuff like that. I mean, we have the metals, we could make them, but it's kind of in the rules that you're not really supposed to do that. Uh, and he wants you to use the golems and uh, let's make it as difficult as possible on everybody. No, that's all right. Okay, so we need some, we need 39, um, let's see, copper. We need 64 plus some more. We'll just take all of that. And then we need some redstone. We will make these into, oh yay, it's raining. Okay. So we need the flux capacitor recipe. So it, we have to make these, 20 of these, 20 of these, and 20 of these, except they need to be charged. Um, so to make these, you need to make the hardened ones. So to make the redstone ones, you need to make the hardened ones. To make the hardened ones, you need to make the leadstone ones. So, and to make the leadstone, this is what you do. So we actually need, what are we missing? Oh, we need more redstone. Um, yeah, so we actually need 60 leadstone flux capacitors. Um, 20 of them we're going to charge and turn in. So let's go ahead and make these 26. Oh my God, that was like the perfect amount to fit in the inventory. Um, let's get this started over here. You know what? Let's grab a chest. Grab Oh, I can't grab a chest. Um, let's put that. Hold on to that for me. Okay, so we're just going to set this here for now. And we're going to put what we can in there. We're going to go ahead and put one in there. We need some golems to automate that and get a chest for the output. Um, we actually need a couple. We'll do three. <laughs> we'll do two inputs and then um, two outputs. Okay, so these will be our inputs and those will be our outputs. We need some money to buy the golems with. My poor bunny is dwindling. Okay, so we will go into the shop and not the watering can. We will just buy a couple of golems. We need a fill and we need an empty. We will put the rest of these. Oh, we still have four. It's awesome. Okay. So, we have one empty. Why is that not charging? What is going on? There we go. Fill and empty. Fill. Let's tell you to put them in here and here. You need to go from here and here. And we need to tell you what to put in there. Those will work. All right, so those 
they will be automatically filling them and then emptying them for me. Yay! Awesome. Okay, so we got that going. We do not need all of those charged. We only need 20. What am I thinking? Okay, so we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Is that right? There should be six. Yeah. Okay. So the rest. Do we have more sulfur? Tell me we have more. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, because it's the ore. It has to be the actual coal. Okay. My goodness. Oh, this is crazy. Crazy. Okay. Hopefully that's enough. Let's make the rest of those. That's going to stack. All right, so then these need to be with Invar and Tin. So let's go get some Invar and Tin. Um, Invar, not sure we should have enough. And then Tin, get open. There we go. Did we get another one? Did we get another one? Did we get another one? All we needed was one more. Okay. Then we will need 20 more <laughs> for the last set. Okay, so let's make one more. These we ran out of copper. Of course. We need one more piece of copper, right? Yeah, because we did 39. Because apparently I wasn't thinking. Okay, so now we need that will not do it for us. And we need that'll be good enough. Okay, so hardened flux capacitor. We have two, three, four. Okay, we're back. And my house is getting really hot, so I have the air conditioner on. So I know you can hear that in the background, and I'm very sorry. But this is going to be quick. And we have the last of the flux capacitors. And that is now done. We will claim our reward and see what we get for that. We got a reward bag with 64 cinnabar. Woo! Free money. Look at that. Oh boy, raw money. Raw money. Okay, sorry. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks. So that's quite a lot. And uh, I would have to do the math on that to see if it's worth it. Um, because we do have to buy a lot of it. But uh, we will. It's definitely not worth buying the nether stuff to get the sulfur because you're you're going to be spending more money and uh, then you will be getting back. So there we definitely learned about that. We did get another stack uh, for free. So that's awesome in our reward bag. And... Yeah, so now we opened up the next one in compression dynamos. I said reactant. I didn't think that sounded right. But the compression dynamos, dynamo. Um, let's see, the com that's magmatic. Compression dynamo is with 10 gears and 10 ingots. And then you get the silver uh, for the transmission coil. So that will help use up a lot of the 10 that we are getting and have nothing to do use it for. So that's awesome. I'm going to get my 10 that I had up there. I get that processed while well, it was in there. I bought some more iron as well uh, to be doing that. These guys are working like crazy. I'll accept those guys. 
they don't have anything to do. Um, but yeah, so we'll need to smelt up some silver. So maybe we'll just go ahead and smelt silver and gold because we do have this, which can then be, uh, I was making some more invar. Uh, then we can use that for the alloys and we don't have to keep them as dust if we don't need them. Why are you up in my face? So yeah, um, let's get out of their way. My goodness, we are getting quite the collection of golems. This is awesome. So next time we will do these, unlock it, and see what else we get unlocked. In the meantime, I will be making and turning in at least these three because uh, I know they're good values. This one I'm going to have to really kind of sit down and do the math for as well as the gears i think you get just a little bit but these three give a better return on investment than the other ones do so until next time i hope you guys enjoy uh your day i hope you try out golem factory if you haven't already uh it's kind of fun it's different it's unusual and it's not the only world you have to play so you might want to try it out and see for yourself what you, if you like it or not. So until then, I hope you guys have a good day. And bye-bye.